Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going through SCCM client software and hardware inventories settings. So now let's get started. So to turn on hardware and software inventory, you need to go into the administrations. And under administrations, there's client settings and there's default client settings. You want to click on the right click and go to properties. There is hardware inventory and there's software inventories. Now let's take a look at the hardware inventories. By default, hardware inventory is enabled, but the inventory schedule is scheduled to run every every seven days. Since this is a test environment, I change it to every seven hours. In the real world scenario, I recommend it all depend on your network and the number of computers you have in the environment. I recommend that you set it to three days. Three days because um, it, hardware inventory doesn't need to run every day. And if you need to initiate hardware inventory at hog, you can do that from the SCM console. I will show you that in a little bit. So now let's set it to three days. Maximum random delay, 240 hours, uh, 240 minutes by default. And the maximum custom MIF files is the size of the MIF files, 240, 250 KB. Inventory class, by default, there's a bunch of classes already pre-selected for you. Let's just click on that. And then as you can see here, that means these classes has been um, selected by default. Just say if you want to collect any other classes, for example, boot configuration, you might want to check the box or scroll down, or I mean, go down to the bottom here, as you can see the other options available. And the let's see here, computer system products. If you want to collect this information, you can do that. I'm going to collect computer system products. Oh, the other things I want to collect is the um, quick fix engineering. It's the information about the patches. If you type in, you can search for quick um, any classes you want. I'm going to search for quick quick fix quick fix engineering class is going to take up a lot of um, space in your database it will increase your database size if you have a large environment that's going to consume a lot of uh, disk space you might want to enable it just for just information on hot fixes and KB in your environment in this case, I'm going to enable it. So now that is enabled. So all these classes you can select and choose, but very be careful that um, it might you might increase your uh, database size. For example, like shortcuts, software shortcut. You can also um, select that. So. And also you can import um, the class from the MAF file. I will show then in the next video on how to create a custom MAF file. Or you can also click on add, add a class and connect. You connect to a computer that, that you added the, um, the custom, what do you call the custom class connect to the computer. Um, so these are some of the options available. We click OK for now. So that is inventory class. Collect MIF files. Um, in 
as you see them, you can collect the IDME files and no IDME files. These are the custom, um, custom hardware configuration files. So that is hardware inventory. The next one we want to look at is the software inventories. Again, software inventory is, I don't remember, I think it was disabled by default. So I change it to yes and set it to run every seven hours. In the real world scenario, I recommend that you run it every one day, once a day. And inventory reporting details, you want a full inventory, this file type. So here's where you want to collect the files you want to report. So I'm going to collect everything with exe. So it's going to be star.exe. So it's going to collect all the executable from C drive. As you can see here, all set hard disk C or D or whatever drive that, that you have in your computer, it's going to collect. And it's going to search a folder. Exclude, encrypt, compress. So it's going to exclude all this um, encrypted or compressed files and even Windows folder. And if you want to collect a certain file from um, Windows folder, you can just enter the file here. Just say test.exe. Locations, you want to set the locations. For example, just say you want to collect from C drive Windows. So it's going to find and queries all the test.exe from Windows folder. And click OK. So I'm going to cancel this for now. Click OK. Collect files here. Um, you can also collect uh, certain files. Um, whatever you want to collect, you can define that here. And the locations, all this, all, all hard disks, and exclude compressed files. Configure display name for manufacturer. Inventory names is 23. It's already um, configured. And you can select or add. So some additional information um, you can add to your solver inventory. Click OK. That means you're happy with what you have settings. And click OK and continue. So I make changes to the default um, client settings. And if you want to create your custom client setting, you can just right click and go to, I'm sorry, right click here and go to create custom client device settings. So that's it. That's an overview of software hardware inventories for configuration manager or SCCM client. Thank you for watching and have a great day.